Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another week of forward-looking technical analysis for GameStop. This week, we'll be covering uh, 8.9 through 8.13, um, going over some of the technical indicators and what I expect to see happen with the stock over the coming week. We'll also dive into some of the things going on with the market right now and... Uh, just a little summary. Um, before I jump in, I wanted to mention, uh, if you haven't gotten a chance, head over to the Collaborations channel and check out the interview I did with Houston Wade this week. Um, I've received a lot of positive feedback about it, and uh, I don't want you guys to miss out. Um, this Wednesday, uh, coming up, I will be meeting with Jamie from over at Trade Spotting, and we'll be sitting down and doing a similar kind of conversation. I'm really looking forward to that. It should be super exciting for everyone who's involved with this community and for you know new people coming in um all right let's jump into the technical analysis for this week so i wanted to add some continuity to these videos and kind of take a brief second to go over what we did in the previous week and what we were looking at how that broke down and what we're going to look at moving going forward um so <clears throat> last week uh we fell uh right through that double bottom uh we had about a 21 percent chance i think of dropping down and ended up on kind of a theoretical support line it, it didn't have a lot of anchors um but you know the projected price trend is actually what led me to uh consider it a support and it looks like we bounced or starting to bounce right on that it's it's still a possibility right now um but we definitely we definitely saw a, a downtrend and a breakdown of that double bottom pattern um but we were still well within range of our ascending triangle and it's you know well within range of our long-term trends um so here we are uh kind of zoomed out for this week on our possible possible long-term trend you can see the bounce there on that possible low support um as you can see yeah this is really only anchored to some of the volatility that happened back in the flash crash in march um <clears throat> but it looks like it held uh so um and also based on the price action this week, it really looks like the shorts are having a hard time pushing us below that floor of like 148, 150. Um, there was a few times we were at that floor and, you know, they dumped uh, 10, $15 million onto the options chain in order to continue to drive the price down and, you know, retail and whatever institutions may be, we're just not having it. So we were just buying the stock right up as quickly as they sold it. Um, I think I think we're we're heading for a pretty solid uh, bear trend this week, and uh, this is this is what that would look like. Um, I took some of our previous ice price action, projected it forward. Um, it looks like if we do see a bounce here, we're going to see a uh, bullish trend testing 180 by Wednesday with some consolidation into the end of the week. So we'll probably hit 180, kind of float along 180, and close out the week slightly above max pain. Um, on the flip side of this, there is, uh, the bearish trend. Um, this shows, uh, again, still a test of 180, but, uh, a possible dip back down into the end of the week around 162.50, closing below max pain. Um, and the difference between these two trends, I think will be pretty significant in the weeks playing forward. Um, but for now, that's, that's what we're going to be looking at. There is a there is a distinct chance that we kind of just chop on this trend line. Uh, we just chop moving forward and see a bounce off that long term trend in a couple days. And so since since this week's pr price predictions based on the technical analysis are a bit mm, kind of 50 50, um, we're going to take a look at some of the other indicators and try to kind of determine the highest probability price action for this week. And so we're going to take a look at MACD first. This is MACD on the daily. As you can see here in our last share offering, we had this false signal that eventually reversed and broke out into the uptrend that was the run up in June. Um, we're currently in the middle of another false signal after the two share offerings you can see at the top the first false signal fell right at around the end of that first share offering the second false signal uh falling a few weeks after this share offering ended um but we are trending up on macd uh we're looking looking steady for a crossover in the next day or so um, but until then flat maybe up only a little um, and on the four hour MACD, we've already crossed over. So the bullish uptrend has already begun over there. Uh, hopefully we'll see that play out 
in the next few days on the daily, um, giving us a confirmed crossover and a breakout to a bullish trend for a long period of time. Uh, here's our Stotch RSI. Uh, I have this super smoothed out at 14, 14, 21, 21, which is uh, something I did in order to reflect the extremely low volume we've been trading. But as you can see, uh, going into the run up in the end of May, beginning of June, um, there was this convergence pattern that happened as the K percent approached the D percent trend line. Um, we've also, it looks like we're repeating that pattern again here. We have the KB crossover, which is a buy signal. Uh, we're moving up just slightly towards um, or above uh, oversold. And as you can see, we're starting to converge again. So I expect maybe a couple days of flat uh, before we see some momentum really pick up on this and that break breakout to the upside. Uh, we definitely got a, at least a few days in there where we're just going to continue to chop, it looks like. Uh, and then if we look at RSI, uh, RSI uh, on the 14-day smoothing uh, hit its lowest point since February of 2020, I believe. Um this week and we kind of bounced right there off of oversold um rsi6 coming back up off of one of its long-term lows uh both of them look like they started to consolidate a little bit on friday um we may see another day or two of that consolidation going into this week uh before we see a bounce to the upside and so overall if we look at our indicators and we're on our technical analysis it, it would appear that we are going to probably have a day or two of consolidation this week um, maybe just monday maybe monday tuesday and then we're looking at a stronger possibility of a move up through the latter half of the week um <clears throat> i also wanted to talk about the spy we have the infrastructure bill passed the senate um that's going to pump a lot more bullish sentiment into what has been basically trading as a pretty flat market for the last couple weeks um Friday, we hit a new all-time high, um, but, you know, the market's still unstable. Uh, Forward-looking inflation is appearing to be less and less transitory and more real. Um, it looks like the government's going to continue to prop the market up um, by pumping liquidity into problems that could or should probably be solved in other ways. But in, in the meantime, it's, it's looking like it's going to continue to climb. Um, if we see it fall back into that correction indicator, we can look for a possible fall through into correction zone one, two, or three. Um, if it falls below that, that's most likely a sell-off or a crash. Um, if there were short hedge funds betting on us having a crash and possibly profiting off of that, it looks like those bets aren't going to pay off in the near term. Um, as long as the federal government seems to be interested in not allowing this to occur, I think the bullish sentiment that's driving the market is just going to continue forward until it stops. Um, <clears throat> lastly, I want to point out that the Schiller index is up this last week, I believe 0.36. Um, so it's just going to continue to climb uh, as long as this uh, in infrastructure bill goes through and more of that money comes in i i don't see it falling and it looks like we're just gonna head straight for those all-time highs last seen in the dot-com bubble um week over week it may just continue to increase so i'll be watching that um but this is definitely an indicator that the market is overvalued and in danger um <clears throat> and then uh i guess that's about it um Thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate it. If you guys could drop a like and a subscribe, it's a huge help to the channel. Um, and it makes sure that you guys see more of my content that will be coming out in the future. Um, if you want to help support the channel, there is a coffee link down below where you can do that. Or if you're interested in day trading as a profession or a hobby, uh, check out the membership levels as we have a private discord where we kind of discuss the more intricate nature of trading and day trading and uh, options and things like that. Um, thank you all so much. I appreciate it. Uh, I'll see you bright and early tomorrow, Monday morning on Monday for our live stream. <laughs> thank you so much and have a great night guys.